Are you ready to transform your old dresser into something absolutely new? In this video, we will show you how to refinish a dresser using only water-based, low VOC stripper and wood stains. Get ready for an easy and eco-friendly project that will take your furniture from drab to fab. This Henry Don high-end dresser needed an update. It had scratches on the finish and I just wanted a lighter look. We removed the old hardware with a screwdriver and then dove right into the process of lightening up this dresser. I tested a new to me product to remove the finish on the top. It's called Stripwell QCS and it's a simple and safe but effective stripper. My goal with this makeover was to use safe products that wouldn't stink up my house or harm me. And that's exactly what Stripwell's QCS is. They advertise that it's great for vintage furniture and I wasn't really sure that this dresser really qualified so I wanted to test it out first. Sure enough, it worked as advertised. So I continued on with the project and wrapped all of the drawers in plastic to keep the wood stain and stripper from getting all over them. And we laid the dresser on some buckets so I could work on it easier. Then I sprayed a coat of stripper all over the dresser. In hindsight, I should have taken my own advice and worked in sections instead of taking on the whole thing at once, but it ended up all right. I waited 15 minutes and then I sprayed another coat and waited another 15 minutes. And then I used a plastic scraper to remove the stain. I was so happy with how easy most of it came off. Then I used a 000 grit steel wool with some QCS on it to scrub off the stubborn spots and clean it all off. I've used other chemical strippers in the past and this stuff did just as well as the others. The vertical surfaces were a little bit more of a challenge. I had put plastic on them to keep the stripper from running off, but I think the plastic wrap in this case made it worse. I had to spray another coat of stripper on the sides before I could get most of the stain off, so in the future, I would just skip the plastic wrap. I repeated my process for each section, scrape, spray some steel wool with a strip wall QCS so I could scrub any remaining gunk off, spray a little bit more QCS on, and then wipe it all down with paper towels. That's it. This stuff is not flammable and it's almost completely non-toxic. It took me three hours to remove all the wood stain from this dresser and I barely had a teeny tiny bit of stripper left over when I was done. Not gonna lie, I was worried that I was gonna run out. Then I let the dresser dry. The next day it was completely dry. Then I sanded the dresser with 220 grit sandpaper being careful, especially on the edges to not sand too much. I didn't know if this dresser was made with wood veneer and I did not wanna chance it. I also sanded with the wood grain. So see all those lines in the wood? I stayed in line with those. Sticking with the safe, low VOC theme of this project, I chose to stain it with water-based wood stain, but I wanted to make sure that I liked the color of the wood stain before I stained all of it. So I tested it on one side. I liked how it looked, so I started the process on the rest of the dresser. So first I wiped the dresser down with the tack cloth to remove all of the dust. Then I removed all the drawers again and wiped some water-based pre-stain. This stuff helps the wood absorb the stain more evenly. I followed the instructions on the can, wiping off the excess after a few minutes and then waiting for it to fully dry. Then I brushed on the wood stain. I used a zebra fan brush and used the special walnut color. I brushed it on thick and quickly and in the direction of the wood grain. Water-based wood stain starts drying quickly, so I like to apply it only with the direction of the wood grain if it does dry too fast. After it was on one section, I immediately wiped off the excess with lint-free rags until the stain looked even. and then I let it dry for three hours. And then I top coated the stain. I used my favorite water-based polyurethane and a zebra top coat paintbrush. I could have also used a foam sponge to apply the polyurethane, but I decided not to this time. 
And then I brush the polyurethane on in long brush strokes, trying not to go over it much at all. This stuff dries fast. So if you go back over it 30 seconds later, it can make it look streaky and foggy and you don't want that. We needed three coats of polyurethane to protect our dresser as much as possible. I'm assuming that it will get a lot of use and without the top coat, it would easily get scratched and it would be hard to clean. I let the polyurethane dry for a couple of hours between coats and then before the last coat, I felt the surface and it was slightly rough. Water-based products raise wood grain, making it feel slightly rough. So I sanded everything with 400 grit sandpaper to make it all feel smooth. Then I applied one last coat of polyurethane. I let it dry overnight and then I put the hardware back on. And here is what it looks like now. It's so fresh and looks completely new again. No more scratches and no more super dark stain. Oh, and I loved being able to do all of this in my home without stinking it up with oil-based nasty products. So what do you think of the new look? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons to see more of our videos. Are you confused and not sure where to start with your furniture makeover? Don't worry, I got your back. Click the link in my comment to download our free painting checklist so you can paint your furniture as if you hired a professional to do it.